It's not where you'd expect to find two former Wimbledon champions, but this is Andre Agassi country and where he now lives with his wife and seven times Wimbledon singles winner Steffi Graf. Did you ever think when you were younger in Germany that you would live in Las Vegas? No, but did I ever think that I'd be, um, you know, able to play tennis uh, competitively and professionally, to be able to travel the world, to experience the life that I have now. But, um, you know, it sure, sure feels very natural being here. It may be a million miles from the lush lawns of Wimbledon, but the championships still hold a special place for both of them. What is it for you that you think of first when you think of Wimbledon? Well, I guess it's, it's just, I mean, there's not one sp specific moment, but just a lot of memories over so many years. I, as a very young girl, I got to um, visit Senna Court and then growing up and just seeing it on television and suddenly being, being there and, and seeing the beauty of it and just the power of it and just a lot of, lot of memories. Is it the same for you, Andre? Uh, for me, you know, it's a place where, uh, it's a place where I learned to wear white. It's a place. It's a place where I learned to bow. I mean, it's a place where I learned to uh, to to learn, to accept, you know, to come to appreciate. You know, it's a to me. It represents an evolution in my own life. You know, it represents a, an important intersection in my journey. And uh, holding that trophy in 1992 was one of the best feelings I've ever had on a tennis court. Um, it was my first, the one I was least expected to be able to sort of do. So that moment certainly stands out in my career, but I think overall it just represents a place that has uh, taught me a great deal about myself. Andre's route to Wimbledon glory was not exactly conventional. As a teenager, his precocious talent was nurtured at the famous Bollettieri Tennis Academy in Florida. And there's Andre, there's the character man. I should have thrown him out a hundred times but I knew he had something special and he sure did. But his talent was matched by a rebellious attitude which set him on a collision course with Wimbledon rules and traditions. I played the first time in 1987 and just basically said flat out, this isn't even tennis. I'm not interested and, and I'll catch up with you in my next life. And then a few years later, when I came back, I didn't know what to expect as I was older and um, just the way I was sort of embraced, uh, you know, it was a love affair for a lot of years after that. Do you regret, because you didn't play it, did you, before yeah. that? Did, do you regret that now? Oh, sure I do. I mean, they're all moments you never get back, moments you, 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 you could have had, you know. I didn't have to think about the whites, but the first time I ever wore a skirt was oh. on Senna Court <laughs> um, against Joe Dury. And, uh, well, that was a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. I kept on fidgeting. I wasn't very comfortable at that time. Now with their tennis careers behind them, the couple devote much of their time to helping underprivileged children. They also have two children of their own. Are your kids tennis players? Our little girl plays a few times a week, but she plays for fun, you know, it's her choice and we hire a coach to teach her because <laughs> we don't want to get involved. <laughs> you have just been nominated apparently Mother of the Nation in Germany. <laughs> wow. Did you I didn't tell you that. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha